Hello everyone, welcome to our channel. This is Naveen. In this video, we are going to discuss about one of the very important concept of CSS again transformation. Okay, so in this video, I came up with a new example. So let's have a look. So this is an example. So by default, it's having a black, black and white color. And whenever I hover, see, you get some zoom as well as you get the color, right? Okay. So this is the scaler. You want to make a, an application like this is to be scale and the colors. Okay. So in this video, we are going to explain uh, about this example. Okay. So let's start coding now. So first of all, I have loaded uh, my web stream with all this. So let me create a separate folder. So 03 underscore CSS um, gray. Uh, scale effects okay so in this I create a new HTML okay so let's say something called index and I need one style sheet so right click new style sheet so styles dot CSS and then let me change the title so CSS grayscale effects and uh, it's a grayscale effect. Okay. Let me also connect my style sheet. Style or CSS. It's done. So for this, we need to have an image. So I have downloaded an image from Google. Let me get this. Yeah, this is an image. Let me copy. Go to here. And in my folder, paste it. Okay. So now the setup ready. You have a HTML file and one CSS and one image. Okay. So let's have a look. So first, let me start the live server it's already started. Let me open this in the browser. So refresh. Yes. HTML. Yeah. So it is like this. Now let's start coding. Uh, so first of all, let me write a comments image with grayscale effects. Okay. So let me write a division with an ID. Uh, something called um, grayscale uh, okay some ID or better you go with the class okay so in that I just take an image src women dot jpg and let's make some alt I think just keep it okay so I got an image okay so let's make some changes for the image so I want to write styles in a style or CSS. So class name grayscale and image. So go to style.css. So first of all dot grayscale. Uh, let me give some border. So border some five pixels solid and the black. Yes. And I have to reduce the border. So uh, I just say width some 300 pixels reduce and the height uh, let's make the height height some 450 pixels yes but image is not fit there so i want to make the image to fit inside so what do you say dot grayscale space image uh, i want to apply the zoom effect for the image so i'll go with width inherit and height also inherit so the same value will be replicate for the image as well. Now let's check. I got the image is perfectly fit for my border. And then this entire image, I have to keep it in the center of my page. So I'll just do margin auto. It's come to the center. And you want to give some top margin, let's say some 50 pixels. It comes here. Okay. And now, uh, let me change the entire background color. So I'll just say dots. Uh, let's go with body tag. Let me change the background color to something called teal. Okay, fine. So now here, I don't need the border. Let me delete the border. Not looks good. Okay, image has come. And for this image, let me write some. Uh, let me write some box shadow. Yeah, 
box shadow 0 0 or just say 0 5 pixels and 10 pixels and the black you get some box shadow yes looks good and let me make some slight rounded corners that's a border radius some 10 pixels uh, but radius is not applied for the image only for the parents so I do one thing let me copy this add to the here as well so it's rounded and now when I hover I want to apply some zoom effect so for that dot grayscale colon hover then the image to be transform uh, scale I use 1.2 comma 1.2 so 1.2 times increase the width and height so now check it increase okay but it is very faster I have to make it a bit slowly so you want to make a smooth effect for the transformation there is a property called transition so transition all some 0 0.5 seconds so 0 0.5 seconds duration this particular transformation is going to be effect now check you get slowly I mean smooth transformation is happening but still one last thing this image has come out from the parent division right it's just overflown uh, you want to hide this overflow effect for the parent just say overflow hidden so that overflow has been hidden okay looks good but I want this to be a black and white image so what I do is see there is a property called filter filter grayscale grayscale 100 percentage if you give 100 percentage is going to be the completely black and white color okay so now if you want to make it a full color just copy the same whenever I hover I want to make it 0 percent so first the grayscale 100 percent is going to be the black and white and whenever you hover grayscale is 0 so if you remove the grayscale so that you get the complete colorful image so let's have a look it is like this if you hover yes that's it okay fine uh, this is a simple example about uh, CSS transformation and thank you so much for watching and we'll meet in the next video for some good examples thank you mm -hmm.